Traxxas Rustler, my other Rustler uh, restoration project. In my previous video, I installed the servo. Uh, I had to cut this part of the of this part of the um, cover, so this steering horn, the servo horn, can hook up easily and freely. The steering rack is from the Nitro Rustler, which is sitting over there. And Axle 5 ESC and Titan 12 turn. For those who are wondering, why didn't I just go to brushless? Because I already have a brushless system and I'm not a big fan of brushless, in my opinion. I actually prefer brushed. But this thing does run. I tested it out on my, using the receiver on my Fortec 2.0. Everything all works good. Um, the only thing I need to fix though is the shocks. This one's okay, but this one doesn't bounce back. There's no rebound at all. So I had to put all these, uh, replace all four shocks with um, with some shock oil. But aside from that, everything's all working. But now, I got a radio for it and a receiver. Yes, 27 megahertz, not 2.4. Why? Because, uh, why can't I not have a 27 megahertz? Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and install this thing and then we'll go from there. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if this thing will work. Let me go ahead and plug in the battery. This is a 2S 5000 milliamp hour LiPo battery. 7.4 volts. Hard to get with one hand. There you go. Plug this in. Okay. Radio on. And by the way, this thing is ridiculously long. Look how long that is. Alright. Uh-oh. Something is working. You adjust the throttle trim. Go steering. Uh oh, it's reversed. Good thing it has these switches in here. Channel one. There we go. Now now it's correct. This is supposed to be the third channel over here, hence TQ3. We're successful. We got a working, we got a new working RC. Now I got two tracks as rustlers. This used to be a gutted Traxxas Rustler. Now I fixed it, restored it. Now it runs. All I need to do is get a gear cover for this. Aside from that, job done.